on that note, uh, let me give you guys a little tour of my uh, rental property here. Cheers. Well, I might as well start right from the sidewalk. Well, there's the shack. There's my apple tree. I'm gonna start making some hooch from the apples, I think. All right, let's go inside. I'll show you guys around. Like it's no mansion, but uh, like we're just renting this place out for six months. But the more I clean, the more we clean, the more I like the place. I think. You know this guy, eh? You know that guy. Anyway, here's my uh, living room, my entertainment uh, system. Beautiful, beautiful for now. I gotta give a big thank you to Gitsibo for lending me his laptop. It's nothing fancy, but thank God for that. And I usually don't give shout outs to strangers, but this guy, crazy amazing. Hey Cash, we've been listening to him all day. Uh, this is a stripper section. Uh, we gotta get a pole installed, uh, replace a couple mirrors, we'll be set to go. All right, let's go into the master bedroom. Like we didn't set up a bed in here because we don't have one. Anyway, we got some curtains and shit to do and yeah, little walk-in broken mirror closet. GoPro head. Yeah. Spare bedroom. Uh, we ended up buying an inflatable mattress, which I hate sleeping on like mad. Anyway, when we're done with it, uh, I'm returning it like we bought it from Canadian Tire when I kept all the packaging and shit for it. So it's going to go right back in the bag box, right back to the store. Cash is loving it out here. There's a little bathroom, pretty, pretty hurting. Nothing special, that's for sure. Like it's an old house, it's a uh, hundred years old. We got our phone finally set up. Kitchen. We washed all the floors. Brand new carpet, I mean like, I vacuumed the shit out of them, but uh, anyway, here's the kitchen. Uh, I'm marinating some steaks right now. Some round steaks, I'm gonna have those for supper. See, no beer in my fridge, how come? Because the prices of beer out here are insane. It's right crazy, dudes. Like I bought these two 15 packs the other day, 70 bucks for 30 beers. Like in Ontario, they're uh, 30 beers for 50 bucks. All right, well, we got a, an apartment even. Cash, go show them, go. No? <laughs> It's spooky down here a little bit. What's well, a three bedroom apartment down here? Three bedroom. And all we're using it for right now is uh, the kitties. This is the kitties room for poops. Poop room. So we're thinking maybe we'll rent this out. Probably get out here, we'll probably get a thousand bucks for this, this area. What are you freaking out for, man? What are you freaking out for? Anyway, this is uh, the kitchen area. Uh, if we do, rent oh, that fell down. What's happened? Mm. Oh yeah, we're still playing with this shit. Uh, I do have internet and phone right now, but the internet's pretty slow. Um, they're coming back Tuesday or tomorrow to fix that up. And there's a spooky room. Very spooky. My lens is dirty. Okay, come on, get out of there. Let's go too spooky that the monsters live there. <laughs> and there's a ba uh, bathroom down here also. A little shower. Nothing special. This, like I said, it's old, man. Check, you, speaking of old, check this out. Whoa, really? A boiler. She does crank though, this place is hot, that's for sure. All right, let's uh, move on to the garage. I haven't been into the garage. I was saving it to share with you guys. Shelly's been in it and I'm telling you not to tell me. Don't tell me what's in there. I want to see for myself. So I'm gonna share that with you guys. And the dog. All right, let me put my shoes on and we'll go check that out. I gotta clean my lens, obviously. Look, every time you go to the garage, you need a beer, right? That's what I read. I read that somewhere. My buddy Dan hooked a brother up. Drippy drip.
Cash, come in, look. Let's go. Little fire pit. Can't wait for the first big bash. We're gonna blow this Edmonton place right up. Okay, well, Cash has been in here. He didn't tell me anything. Doesn't want to share. I hope there's a wood stove. It's old. Let's have a peek, Cash. Come in. Mm. Lots of emptiness. No wood stove. Hmm. It's big. What's that? French provincial door, maybe. I don't know. I guess um, my trike will fit in here, I think. Well, anyway, there's been a lot of questions. Yes, my trike is coming. It's uh, supposedly the movers, the asshole trillium movers or whatnot. They're picking up my shit tomorrow, including the trike. Um, and as far as the blue truck, I gotta go back in the spring to get that. And yes, I brought all the animals, JJ and everybody. We all made it good. They were super awesome in the vehicle. Super awesome. Can't ask for better pets. So yeah, I like it. It would fit two vehicles. Hmm, very nice. Let's go catch. Let's go check out the yard. Good boy. Back laneway. Man, it's warm out. It's like plus five, I think they said. Plus five degrees out. I can't get the gate open. But anyway, there's another parking space here. And there's a nice old car right there. I wonder if he's scrapping it. Go ask him if he's scrapping it, Cash. Yo, you scrapping that, bro? Come on, Cash. So I guess I should shovel, it'll melt anyway. That's the way into the garage, that's my yard. Shelly says the Jeep won't fit between there. Come on, you can fit a transport in there, buddy. And looks like we got some scrap metal. Right on, it's a good start. And uh, down the street from me, like uh, I've seen a fridge, a washer, a dryer. Not on the street, but in the laneway, like. Out here we have to put our garbage in the back laneway. Like back here. See, there's like bins back there. Strange. But yeah, um, I just gotta get myself a truck. That's my mission. I've been looking, like I found one for 500 bucks. Like, um, like I hated asking, like, some of you has probably noticed in my last video I gave you guys my, uh, my PayPal thing. I hate asking for help, but I kinda need help. Cash, be good, be good. He's good. He just wants to say hi. Well, we got hotties in the front yard even. <laughs> Come on, Cash. He just wants to make, no Cash, no Cash! Whoa, whoa! Fucking dog. Well, I guess I found out my dog's too friendly. Holy, he wasn't listening to me at all. So, leash guy, this guy. How come you don't listen? Used to listen in Sudbury. <laughs> anyway, people, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed that tour. I'm enjoying the house, I really am. Well, there's my sugar shack. Uh, it's nothing special, but as the days goes on, I'm, I'm starting to enjoy it. Once all my shit's in here, I probably will like it. I just gotta investigate the neighborhood. Um, when Shelly gets home from work, today was her first day. When she gets back, we'll go for a ride. Um, I hear Costco has better beer prices, so <laughs> we're gonna go to Costco and see what kind of deals we got. 70 bucks for 30 cans of Canadian. Seriously, 70 bucks for 30 cans of Canadian. I'm used to paying 50, and I thought that was expensive. Well, anyway, uh, another thing I wanna check out is uh, wine making places. I, I'm gonna start making my own wine. Like, it's just I can't afford to drink at that price. Like, I don't have a job out here. I don't even have a truck yet. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in a second. So somebody said Costco or uh, the Superstore. Let's go see if we can find some deals. Oh, she's talking to her new boyfriend, watch. What's your new boyfriend saying? Huh? Your new boyfriend, what's he saying? 
What's your boyfriend? Doge. Okay. okay. What's he got to say? Oh. <laughs> huh? She's having an affair on me. Yeah, yeah, with the GPS. <laughs> we'll go to Canadian Tire first. Oh, what are we doing there? Getting a chain for cash. Oh yeah, a chain for cash. The runner. He's going in the back there. He's running. Look. I forgot to show you what uh, Shelly got for her travelings. We listened to this album, these two albums, over and over and over. It's 900 meters. Turn right. Look at this. There's my next scrapping vehicle right there. Yeah. To be scrapped. No. I just spotted a scrap fridge behind this truck here. Let's see if we can see it. Huh? Can you see it? I can see it. I can see it right there. Oh. Once I get my truck, we'll be scrapping, man. Oh yeah, there's lots of scrap wherever you look here. But I just gotta figure out the yards and the prices and if I'm even allowed and yeah. Scrappy scrap. Roadhouse. Sloppy hogs. Roadhouse, but not spelled properly. It's gotta be a nudie barbecue. bar. Barbecue, it's a barbecue place. Ah. I gotta figure out where my closest nudie Lola bar is. Lisa Pub. Tap house, the liquor store, cigar store right there. Mm. Why isn't that guy moving? Like, I'm gonna get out and He's punch him. Oh go. my god. Go. Go. Fucking, Fucking run him over. Us. Like, are you serious, you piece of shit? Road rage. Sholly, come on. <laughs> she just nailed this guy. Like, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Uh, I'll leave him a note. Oops, okay. Sorry, I <laughs> broke your piece of shit. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try this place to see if I can get cheaper most in Canadian. We'll see. So I asked the cab driver, uh, "Where's the cheapest place to get beer in Edmonton?" He told me, "Dude, just get used to it. It's very expensive." So I guess we're getting our beer from here. Okay, well I found 24 cans for. Forty-three dollars. So I'm pretty pretty sure I'm on par with Ontario prices with this. I'm pretty sure. So we have to buy a new frying pan and a new pot because all my shit's packed. Anyway, good news is we're supposed to pick them up tomorrow. Pick up my house tomorrow. Bring it over here. Not the whole house, but the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Hey, up! That's gonna be yummy, like crazy. And uh, yes, I did bring my plastic forks and my plastic knives and my plastic spoons and my paper plates with me from Sudbury because that's the way we roll out here too. I have to say, I outdone myself, like perfection. Let's go see what Shelly thinks. What are you doing, little girl? It's a baby. Pajamas. You're in your pajamas. How, how's your food? It's good. Pajama grill. Well, there's my shack. It's actually not too bad. Like I'm starting to enjoy it. Like it's it's a fair size house. It's, and if we rent that basement, that's gonna kick ass. Anyway, um, I've got uh, Telus coming back. There, they they want to speed up my internet. They're not happy with the speeds. Like seriously, the internet here is faster than it was in Sudbury. I was through a uh, bell in Sudbury. But anyway, we'll see how fast this uh, ends up being, and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, people, uh, big, big cheers. Thanks a lot for watching. And we'll talk to you guys later.